Oh nah, no wonder he took out 18 first. And I know you guys wanted to see the Trunks get back, but we gotta go over this violation. First off, Trunks was talking crazy. He talking about, I don't need to go back in the past. I can handle the Andrigades on my own. And this man had the audacity to say, you know I'm a Super Saiyan, right? Like, okay, and Boma was on him too. She said, so was Gohan, and he got cooked. So get your lame ass in the time machine and go help Goku. So they were arguing, and then the radio goes off. This man walks up to the radio listening in like he a vigilante. You are not Batman. So Trunks goes because he thinks he could win. And when the Andrigades were just about to leave, bro pulls up on some, where do you think you're going? And 18's like, boy, if you don't shut your weak ass up, goes up to him and hits him with the fade, sends this man Die. flying. He crashes into the building. And then this man, Trunks, uses the weakest move ever. 18 just casually dodges it. That move is catching no one. Trunks throws a punch. I thought it hit her. But 18 grabs it. And then she proceeds to rock this man again. He gets sent flying and is like, you know what? I don't care if this is cheating. I'm using my sword. Come here. She dodges the first one, dodges the second one, and I'm like, oh nah, how are you gonna try to cheese with the sword and you still getting embarrassed? And her standing on the sword is a violation. He tried to hit her for the third time after that and she pulls one of the craziest dodges. Bro, look at that. Oh nah. 17 comes to jump in, but bro, look at him. He thinks he's the Flash. So bro runs in, tries to trip him and fails, and then Trunks tries to hit him with the sword, and then he misses. Has this man gotten one hit since he used that sword? Bro, put it down. And for the third time, he tries to hit him with the sword, and this man catches it and says, I see your point. Like, shut up, 17. No wonder Gohan got that last hit on 17 before he went out. He's annoying. Real quick, thanks for 16k. So last time he left off, we saw Trunks getting body while cheesing with the sword. And we all know that he need to put that shit down. That sword had no hits. He just like that one SoundCloud rapper from high school. He telling everybody he dropping a new song, then somebody airdrops him this meme. Oh nah, we can't even have dreams anymore. Anyways, Android 18 comes up to Trunks and hits this man with the Rasengan, sends that boy flying. His sword drops and then they key spam him. They must have thought his ass was gone. He not going out the key spam, he comes out the smoke swinging. He goes after 17 for that weak ass joke. That boy caught the mean fade, no lineup. And look at 18, she thought she was about to sneak a hidden. That boy Trunks was on that. Kicks her in the stomach and hits a home run with no bat. That shit was clean. And then he fires a key blast to end it off. But we all know that doesn't work. They even had a fake ass oh no expression. You would think that they were finished. Someone give them an Oscar. And look at Trunks. Bro really thought he had it. Talking about some, I did it. Bro, did what? And the androids are evil. They come out the rubble and 17 talking about some, what exactly did you do? With your weak ass. Trunks gets angry. He starts key blast spamming. That's how you know he's Vegeta's son. And to no one's surprise, that shit does not work. And you would think that after Trunks sees that it did no damage, that he wouldn't try that shit again. But no, this man 17 baits him, and Trunks falls for it and does the same thing again. Why? At this point, I'm watching it like, yeah, just jump in, bro. Like, just jump in. And that's exactly what they did. 17 comes out the building and hits him no, with the mean okay. backhand. Sends that boy Trunks flying in there. Slides right to 18 and she takes a penalty. Gets him back for that home run. Ah! And this shit just turns into a horror game. Matter of fact, this is just a Dragon Ball the Breakers had. Bro was just out there running. The Andrigades turned Trunks into a track star. Had bro running. They turned this shit into a cliche cartoon. Trunks thought he was safe and then he turns around like... Damn. He really about to rock my shit. Ah! So now they just got Trunks on the ground looking sorry and shit. And I know Vegeta rolling in his grave right now. This is just a violation. He going out sad. They boot his ass out the building and all of a sudden he's a Super Saiyan. I don't know what happened. But look at 18 though. You are not Michael Jordan. So 17 sends Trunks to go drown. They try to do him like Jiraiya. But he was not going out like that. He gets up out the water and this man 17's like, yeah, anyways. Sit your weak ass down. <laughs> uses the key blast and had him laid out like a mattress. Oh nah. Then he walks up to him and lifts him up with his shoe. Like, this is that villain shit I'm talking about. You have to be a certain type of person to do this shit. And what happens next is just sad. I know Vegeta's looking up at this mad as hell. Trunks gets up, throws punches, and that shit is just doing no damage, bruh. And 18 was like, enough of that weak shit. Trips him and rocks him to a new stage where 17 is waiting. And this is just a vile combo right here. Like, have you ever seen some shit like this? So after they were done combo, trunks this man 17 turns trunks into a welcome mat started wiping the bottom of his shoe on his face 17 was about to end it then 18 comes in like let me see that would have pissed me off because why are you fiending 
Trunks definitely remembered that one when he came back. She set herself up to getting packed up by Trunks first. As we know, Trunks somehow survives that, and Bulma must be Wonder Woman or something, cause how does she even save Trunks? That man should have been under mad rocks like Obito, bro. But anyways, Trunks wakes up and is like, you know what? I want to go back and help Goku. The Andrigides really beat this man into making better decisions. I guess bullying works. All right, it's finally time for the get back. I never seen someone look so innocent before absolutely violating. Just look at him waving like he not about to cook the Andrigides. Nah, who says Dragon Ball doesn't have good writing? They got Gohan suited up for the funeral. That's that foreshadowing, trust me. On the way back, we can see that Trunks has one thing on his mind, revenge. They done off Gohan, used his face as a doormat, and we can't forget how 18 fiend to end him. Yeah, it's over. So Trunks finally gets back and lands. And he runs inside the house to where Boma is, and she starts inspecting him, and she like, yep, we saved. So they were sitting and talking, and the radio goes off talking about how the Andrigides were out there attacking the city, destroying buildings and shit. And here goes Trunks thinking he's Superman, he gets up like, this has to stop. Throws away the jacket, dun 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 dun, superhero headass. He goes Super Saiyan and flies out. And look at this. And look at this. He has never flew like this in his life. I'm crying. Who does this man think he is? We see the androids on day 300,000 having control over the whole population. And they just still out here destroying buildings. They actually have to go. How are you not bored of this? That's what Trunks is here for. Look at 18 talking about let me handle him first. Bro, you are not handling shit. She fires a key blast. This man Trunks dodges it. And then he goes behind her and just rocks her. He like, shut your weak ass up. Me. She gets so mad as shit that she just got faded like that and goes straight after him. But she didn't know he a part of Weave Nation starts dodging everything. He throws another punch, he catches it and gives her a knee. And hold up, y'all saw that? She trying to hit fadeaways in Dragon Ball. First the shoulder shrug, now this? This is crazy, you are not Jordan. And look at how Trunks is moving, bro. Swears he's in the edit. We get it, bro, you dodged it. It's finally time. He laid the fit out the night before for this one moment. 18 just got work, she looking at 17 like let's jump his ass. It's been 14 plus years and the jumping has never failed them. Look at 17 smiling like this about to be light work. Listen 17, just because you were farming winds off a of puddle hon doesn't mean you about to farm winds off of trunks. They go in and trunks weaves 18 so bad he had her schmoovin' out the frame. Shorty is lost, give her a map. Then he dodges 17. He had bro tweaked, what is he looking at? Die. Oh nah, that shit was vile. Look at this man 17. Brody smacked the evil out of him. And look at 18 with these weak ass key blasts. This man trunks didn't even bother dodging them. He just blocked all of them and went straight for her. Then he uses this crazy attack and booms her turns shorty into straight crumbs he had 17 like oh nah and then this man turns around like square up you're next Go straight after him. This man doesn't block, dodge, or anything. Just gets his shit cooked. And then this man Trunks does 80,000 flips. Now nah, this man Trunks is trying to hit a clip on 17. Doing that many flips is egregious. But anything to slide for Han. Look at this man 17. You would think Trunks doing all these flips would give him time to run, leave, or something. But that kick got him laid out like a mattress. Bro is still slumped. But Trunks finally gets the last Sandrigity. And the world is finally saved. But there's one more person he gotta beat. Well, this man Trunks knows Cell is trying to hit a lick on him and take his time machine. He tells Boma to dip out. She wasn't listening at first, but she got the message. Cause once you see bro's face, that is a face of a man that is not about to get caught lacking. Boma's like, oh shit, he's serious. Runs inside. And Trunks is like, so, you're not low. I know you're there. He like, huh? And then we see the angle this man Cell is hiding at. And I'm like, bro, why is he peeking around the corner? Nothing is even covering him. He'd be better off standing on top of buildings like he's Batman. So Cell is like, damn, I guess you're not an easy lick. And Trunks is like, yeah, I guess I'm not. And Cell starts walking up, and Trunks is like, hold up, the Andrigides have been destroying buildings for no reason for years. We gonna have to relocate. He gets Cell up out of there, hits him with the stage change. And look at how Trunks is standing, he thinks he's him. So Cell and Trunks both power up, and Cell, still thinking it's about to be light, rushes in first, gets absolutely cooked, gets sent flying. Cell shoots a key blast, and Trunks is like, get that weak shit out of here. Then he hits Cell to the ground. And Cell just like, I should be cooking this man. This shit gotta be a fluke. Goes back in. But Cell should have just stayed where he was, because he just gets cooked. Die. And we see that this man Cell just got fucked up. He trying to resist Vegeta's DNA and not hold his left arm. Cell for the third time tries to attack him. He uses his tail. But Trunks catches it and throws him up. And Cell's about to use an attack talking about some why you little. But Trunks is not standing for that bro. It's time for you to go. He pulls one of his best moves out of his bag. The heat dome attack. And this attack absolutely eviscerates Cell. He finally did it.